Hello, beta. Good afternoon. In today's class, we are going to go ahead and talk about Chapter 7 Blanchard, which is the AS AD curve. It is putting all markets together, the AS AD curve. Right, beta? So please write down putting all markets together, the AS. AD model. So in this class, we're going to go ahead and talk about the AS AD model as a whole. But first of all, try and remember what is the wage determination equation that we had learned. The wage determination equation. So how do we determine the wages? This wage determination relation, it could have been written as W is equal to PE F U comma Z. So we said that wages, they depend on expected price. They depend on unemployment rate and they depend on the catch all variable. This is coming from chapter six that I have taught you. Okay. Then the other thing that we talked about that was the price determination relationship. Hmm. And the price determination relationship that I talked about, it was, what was that beta? So it was to go ahead and understand that price is a markup over and above the wage. And price is set by the firms and it is a markup over and above the wage. Now, if you remember, we had gone ahead and we had found out the equilibrium in chapter 6 by assuming that the expected price is equal to the actual price. We have chapter 6 make chapter, right, Peter? In today's lecture, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I am going to just negate that assumption. And what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to pick up this relationship from the wage determining, determining relation and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that. I will put that here. So if I go ahead and I plug in that here, what will I get? I will get P is equal to 1 plus V U P E F U Z. Clear or better? So I have eliminated the nominal wage from the two equation and how did I eliminate it? I eliminated it by putting this. So I can call this as equation one. I can call this as equation two. So I plugged in equation one value inside equation two and I eliminated it. Clear one? Achha, tell me something. But what is unemployment rate? Unemployment rate is number of people unemployed divided by the total labor force. How many people are unemployed? Total labor force minus people are employed. So let's say that N represents the number of people employed. Right, beta? L represents the total labor force. Right, beta? So divided by L. Can I write this as L by L minus N by L? Yes, ma'am. I can write this as 1 minus N by L? Yes. Beta, now, if you remember, in the last class, I had gone ahead and I had talked about a production function. What was that production function? Production function said that output will be A into N. Output was one on one with the labor. So N was representing the number of people employed. And we said that output will directly be affected by the number of people employed. And A was my technology, but I had taken this A as 1. So when I took this A as 1, I had got Y is equal to N. So jitne log employed hoonge, utna hi output produce hoga. The number of, the amount of output that will be created will be equal to the number of people employed. So, but can I replace this N with L because Y is equal to N? I can do that. So, what will I get from here? I will get this is equal to 1 minus Y by L. 
So from here, what do I achieve? I achieve u is equal to 1 minus y by n. So I have been able to derive a relationship between unemployment and output. Is this clear? Okay. Now just try to think about this a bit more further. But if we think about it, we should understand that there is a negative sign outside the value of y. Can you see this negative sign? This negative sign, it tells us that these two, unemployment rate and output, they are negatively related to each other. Unemployment rate and output, they are negatively related to each other. Clear me about beta? What does this mean? Very simple. But if output will increase, if production will increase, you will need more people for it. Deekho, agar ye badega, to ye automatically badega. So when output increases, the number of people I will employ will increase. When the number of people I employ increase, the number of people unemployed will automatically decrease. So can I go ahead and say that the higher the output, the lower the unemployment rate. If more output is to be produced, when output increases, employment increases. If employment increases, unemployment decreases. So unemployment rate also decreases. So less people will be unemployed. Clear way about? Okay. 